what's up y'all i'm um i'm at my parents house i'm in my old room but this is day one of the hurricane blog um my nose is red and my eyes is puffy because y'all i've been crying i've been stressed it's just a lot going on but i was like i ain't got a nose to do so i might as well vlog something so yeah um and yeah i'm just gonna take y'all along for the ride of what's going on i think i'm having a little bit of katrina ptsd but yeah girl i don't even know what to say right now but yeah i'm gonna take y'all along with me through this journey um yeah i'm eating a sandwich right now my mom has been making a sandwich for me for about three hours now i feel like but and on top of all of this going on i'm not feeling my best self right now because mother nature decides to make an appearance well she's trying to make an appearance so yeah but i'm gonna come back and talk to y'all when something's going on so i'm gonna try to take me a little nap because i'm tired but yeah y'all Y'all not gonna be able to see me right now, but we're in the car trying to charge the phones. And this is just so scary. Such a crazy situation going on right now. We decided to stay in New Orleans for the storm. Oh my God. JJ, you see all that? Yeah. It's the just, sky is literally, you can see like the rain moving or something. It's the wind pushing the rain. It's just that the wind is so powerful right now. It, it's just, it's truly scary, but. The car is like moving. Like yeah, I just thank God that we had a, a suitable roof over our head, like shelter, like somewhere that it's not, we don't really have damage, like little minor things on the roof, but we're not really getting no damage. I mean, my, my parents' fence is, is <laughs> the, <laughs> the, the fence, fence is, is not. the fence is done, but I just thank God because this really is just so scary right now, y'all. It's, it's bad, like, but I'm going to come check in with y'all tomorrow. Hopefully when this storm passes, so yeah. Or you can see. Oh my god. This is how strong the wind is right now. Yeah, it's 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 bad right now. This is the current update. I'm at my parents' house, but for the sixteen years that we've been living back here, y'all, we ain't never this has never happened. There's a river right up there and a couple barges got loose and they think that's what made it top over like this. But me and Rama car got flooded. We had to push it on top of the grass. So very unfortunate. I don't have no service right now. I know my man is probably about to crank up because he can't talk to me. This is so crazy. I got mess, but I'm just honestly grateful that the water didn't get in the house. That we have a safe shelter to be in. We just don't have no power. I no service, but whatever. But I ain't got enough to do, so let me just talk to y'all. But the reason why the reason why my boyfriend and I aren't together is because his family and well, which is my family, they wanted to go to Dallas and my parents didn't plan on leaving or my grandmother and I just wouldn't have been comfortable knowing that they was here and I was evacuating even though yeah I can't really physically do anything for them but I, I did feel like it was God telling me to be with my mom because she's very her nerves get bad really really fast and I just felt like I had to be here for her which I did so I'm glad I did stay with her and I'm just happy knowing that he's safe with his family so but I just feel so bad because I know he's going to be worrying about me. And I don't have no service, so I can't talk to him. I just 
hope he knows that I'm okay. Just don't have no service. But yeah, y'all. I just pray my apartment is okay, y'all. But I'm on the third floor, so I know it's okay. I just hope any windows didn't bust or anything, or the roof got any damage or any leaks or anything. Tough time, y'all. Tough time. But yeah, that's about it. Um, Hurricane Ada, she ain't come to play. Um, I'll talk to y'all later another time when I update y'all but as now it's nothing to do nothing to see but just water and yeah something like that cause you're like okay put the mask on because you're you're cold you're hot Cause it's just so hard. It's so miserable. It's so miserable, y'all. But we're supposed to be leaving tomorrow, so I just gotta figure it out for a couple more hours. I haven't, um, I haven't been sleeping in this heat. I can't, I can't sleep in the heat. So I, I haven't been sleeping at night for the past couple days. I cannot sleep in the heat, y'all. I'm used to sleeping in my house with the air on 68 with a very powerful fan with the ceiling fan so the heat I, I can't take it we don't have a generator can't plug no fans in just heat this is a tough time it's just so hot y'all it's so hot and i'm trying to whisper and talk low because some of them trying to sleep they could actually sleep must be nice. But yeah, I'm about to go take a cold shower. I just came on here to y'all are up there. So yeah, y'all yeah, miserable. Miserable. No air. But yeah, yeah. I'll talk to y'all tomorrow, hopefully. Or whatever. Hey y'all, so I'm back. Um, I never gave you guys another update after my last clip in this video. So, basically, after you guys sent me about to take a shower, um, that was day three of being in New Orleans with no lights. So, my family and I decided to finally leave, and we ended up going to Houston. And then from Houston, I went to Dallas to be with my boyfriend. And then we stayed there for a couple days. And then his parents got lights, so we came back to the city. We stayed with his parents and i'm i just got home yesterday because we just got lights yesterday i mean actually they got the lights the day before the night before yesterday but they ended up going out and then they came back on but yeah the storm happened like august 29th and today is september 11th so it's been a long time since i've been home and i was really feeling homesick so i'm just so grateful to finally be home but y'all it's been a time it's really been a time this storm was worse than expected basically um so y'all know my car got flooded so i have to get a new car now i had to get total my apartment it was some it was some of it was damaged um so for starters in the front of the apartment there was like water damage to the roof so there's like mildew or mold growing i'm not sure which one it is but yeah so i put in an emergency um maintenance claim so hopefully they come fix it soon and then my chimney, it I guess the wind was so strong it caused it to bend over, so it was bent. So they took it off though, and I guess they're gonna they're fixing everybody's chimneys, but they took it off. And then um, some of the sheetrock in the dining room is starting to come loose a little, like separate. Um, I got home, my master bedroom toilet was leaking, but we flushed it and it stopped, but. It just was a hot mess. It was a hot mess, but I got yes, I got in yesterday, cleaned the whole house front to back. Um, so I feel much better now. But girl, it's just like 
and I don't I was not expecting that but you know things happen I'm just so happy to be home y'all I'm so happy to be home but I'm gonna close out this video um but yeah, I have to come to come do a closing video because I never made one but in my next video I'll be looking much better than I am now because <laughs> I look a hot mess but thank y'all so much for watching thank y'all so much for the the well not well wishes but when i was going through things a lot of my friends y'all kept checking on me y'all was getting me through it so i really appreciate it um but yeah y'all i'm gonna look much better in my next video this video was real raw and uncut real rap but yeah um Thank y'all for watching this video. If you'd like to give it a thumbs up, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I post again. And yeah, I'm out. Love y'all.